I'm Ben and I work mostly in software engineering. And I'm Fernando in the technical lead side. And I'm Dan, CEO of BearCover, and these are my two founders. And we are the Deep Tech stars for this year's Deep Tech Award in the category of Artificial Intelligence. So BearCover builds robotic nursing assistants that assist nursing staff at nighttime in care facilities like nursing homes, geriatric clinics, or hospitals with routine checks of residents without entering their room. So basically we have a robot that's fitted with radar centers and at nighttime it drives from door to door and scans through the rooms and checks position of the residents. If we notice anything unusual, we relay that information to care staff on duty who can then perform a physical check. Yeah, there was like a real core point in the early stages when we were exploring the nursing homes where we had this robot that we had built to support kind of older people at home along the way. And then we were in the nursing home and they're like, yeah, this is fine, but everything happens in the room. Like, can you see inside the room? Yeah. And we were like, can I see inside? What does that even mean? <laughs> what do you mean, can I see inside the room? They're like, like, all the problems, the falls, the issues, they happen in there and we can't see in there and we don't have enough staff to go in there and check. And like you can't get sensors because they're expensive or problematic or the residents don't want them or you know there's num numerous reasons and they're like but if you could see in the room and we're like yeah, uh, yeah we can do that we send waves they hit off many objects and the received power comes back as an echo to the radar sensor and using this we can actually find how these waves change over time and we actually can find very small movements, even as small as breathing, um, from up to 10 meters away through a door. So the same way Wi-Fi can go through doors and concrete, uh, radar also can. And it's completely uh, safe, the same way Wi-Fi is. Nursing homes don't have IT infrastructure. Like uh, most of Germany has like a digitalization plan and they're like, yeah, we have this plan, even the hospitals and that. You're lucky if they have Wi-Fi. But the step one of the plan is to get internet, and most of them haven't even implemented step one yet. But very easy fix. Um, there is cellular data all over the place, so we just built the robots to also be able to take 4G. So the Deep Tech Award was great to win this year, um, specifically because it is focused on deep tech. So there's a lot of awards that are given out for you know marketing, AI, apps, whatever but actually to celebrate technology that is super, super hard to build. And that was one of the reasons we came to Berlin in the first place, was that we thought Berlin was the kind of ecosystem that could support hard tech and deep tech startups. There was also something very nice about the Deep Tech Award, which is like when they were talking about categories and AI and all those things, it was just another ChatGPT. And it's like, it wasn't that. In fact, we won the award without being in that and because we were out of that, like because we were out of the hype, but using AI in a way that makes sense or that that's what they actually were claiming. And I'm really proud to see that uh, here there's like people that still believe that uh, startups are not about the hype just and supporting startups in this way, I think is the best way they can do it. Fundamentally, the, like there's a demographic collapse happening and there's just gonna be too many old people and too few young people to take care of them. And in the future, I just see it's either, there's only two things that can help these elderly people, is humans or technology, yep. uh, and ideally both. Yep.